the education variable is not particularly well defined for teachers. So typically in these wage regressions, what we do is just look at your years of education. Right. So that would mean that a person with a degree in you know, biochemical engineering is going to be treated as having the same skills as a person with a degree in uh, 19th century French poetry. Right. So you would think, well, that's ridiculous. Why would anyone ever do a regression like that? And the answer is that when you're comparing groups of people that have diverse occupational backgrounds, diverse educational backgrounds, these two things kind of cancel out so that we don't have to worry so much about that. But that doesn't happen when you're comparing one occupation, particularly with teachers. Because most teachers, not all, but most teachers have degrees in an education-related field. Uh, this is especially true of elementary school teachers. And education is well known for being less challenging and less rigorous as an academic field than many other academic fields. We know this from, from first anecdotes about students and teachers alike who have taken courses like this. And also, we know this empirically. We know that because people who say they're going to be teachers score lower on tests like the SAT and the GRE, but then have higher GPAs in their education courses than other people in other schools. And so what can happen here is that uh, education by itself, as a, as a years of education variable, could be an overestimate of teachers' market skills. And one thing we did to test that is we used a, a data set called the NLSY, which has a cognitive ability measure. And, and we said, okay, instead of comparing on education, let's compare on cognitive ability. And what we found was that the wage penalty essentially disappears in that case. Now, again, is that, is that the whole story on, on the standard regression? No, there's probably other things going on, but that certainly is a major factor in leading to uh, the standard regression uh, causing us to not have the right conclusion. 